Welcome back, Southwest Florida. We're here. As you can hear, the audience is applauding. The children have just performed under the leadership of Darlene Mitchell. And it is a spectacle indeed at the Southern Christian Leadership Conference that's taking place right here in Southwest Florida. And we have some individuals here who are dynamic in the community. They need very little introduction. Cornerstone Church on Martin Luther King Boulevard, First Assembly. We have their pastor here and co-pastor, Marjorie Ford and Gregory Ford. Welcome to Lee Pitts Live. Man, it's an honor to be here with you, Lee, and uh, at this great occasion and celebrating the 50th you know, uh, civil rights uh, movement celebration when we come together to talk about the day that it all kind of began with that signing of that particular movement. But uh, we're happy. It's great to be here. And Marjorie, how do you think, why do you think it's important that the churches to continue to port, support what the Southern Christian Leadership Conference is doing? Well, I think it's important for us to come together because it shows the unity and the strength of, of us as a body, as a unit. So. What kind of message did y'all give to the church to come out, your congregation to come out and support today's event? Did y'all talk to them? Yes, we did. We invited them in our morning service to come out and be a part of this great celebration. Uh, Pastor Ford, uh, you have made a, gr a great effort to make sure that Cornerstone Missionary is not just a church sitting in the community, but you are part of the community involved in the details of the community. Uh, how did you go about that, and w how pleased are you with the success of Cornerstone Ministry? Well, I think Cornerstone is not only just living in the present. We're, we're part of the actual struggle of the day, the, s the movement of the day. We're active. And uh, we believe in uh, a community standing together as a unified body, but we do know we have obstacles and different challenges that we have to overcome as a black community. We need employment. We need, uh, you know, re-entry programs. We need finances. We need businesses. We need a lot of things in our community. The only way to get it is by our people standing together. The, the struggle still continues, and the movement is still active. Now, your brother, uh, Lee Ford, I interviewed him yesterday, but he's the local president of the uh, Southern Christian Leadership Conference. Tell us uh, uh, some things we may need to know about your brother as a leader that we wouldn't normally know, but you would know because you're his brother. Well, he's consistent. I mean, what he said, his hands to do. He's a follow-through kind of person. One thing I know about him, he has a passion for this leadership job. He's all in. He's all in, not just for himself, but he's all in for the people. And uh, that's what we need in leadership. Now, uh, what, what, what's your thoughts about the, uh, what have you heard from the other churches? Look like we got a light to turn out, but uh, do we, have we mobilized the other churches in the community? And, and, and can you play a, a part in that as well? Of course, uh, we all have several meetings leading up to this meeting uh, to try to gather the community leaders together to uh, be a part of this day. But of course, yes, we do have many more on board that's coming. And, uh, and I'll tell you, uh, it's going to, I think this is a great move, a great opportunity for our people to get on board. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, we're going to see great things. What are you seeing nationally as it relates to police brutality or uh, police shooting that really keeps you up at night? And what's your thoughts about a lot of the things that are going on around, around the country as it relates particularly to the African-American community relationship with law enforcement? Well, as always, we our voice has to be heard. We have to step up and make a sound. And uh, there are things going on around the nation as well as in our local community that we, if we don't say nothing, then nothing gonna happen. We have to gather together, and uh, we are very powerful people when we stand together. We can get things done. And uh, so when we do that, it's time to do it now, not wait till something, you know, tragically happens in our community. We need to act on it now. We've seen what's happening all around the country. So, but those things can happen easily right here in our city. But uh, we need to stand and make our voice known. And Marjorie, uh, our Cornerstone missionary has been has done a great job in terms of getting the youth involved. Talk about your youth ministry, ministry, and talk a little bit about the summit that you had a few months, a couple of months ago. Well, the, um, the youth have um, really grown. I mean, we are now doing a mentoring classes for our youth as well as our teenage girls. So um, it's been awesome. And then the classes on the summit we had last, about a month ago, it was awesome. You was there along with others. And I think it really empowered, empowered the young people. Great job. 
I want to tell you, you did a wonderful job. You know, it's always a labor of love for me. Uh, I want to thank both of y'all for coming over here, sitting in the, with us live here on Lee Pitts Live at the Southern Christian Leadership Conference first major event here in, in Lee County. And uh, keep up the good work. And whenever you need me, just give me a holler, okay? Well, and one of these Sundays, we're going to have, we're going to be live at the church. How about that? Can you, can you give me permission? Well, come on, bro. Anything to promote the kingdom. We're going to make that happen. We'll be right back on Lee Pitts Live. Y'all can go. <laughs>